Hello guys, welcome back to Paper Whisper. Today I'll be showing you how to make an, a seamless octahedron from a uh, four-base triangle grid. Similar to my last tutorial where you made a triangle grid in a hexagonal, hexagonal twist, you'll need, this tri you'll need a triangle grid for this. So if you don't know how to make it, go watch the last video. Cool. So, now, um, what, once you have your grid, it should be four base, so it would be less than last time, so it shouldn't be too, be too hard. Four base basically means you do it, you have four, basically four triangles in each direction. Simple as that. Basically, now, let's get right into it. So, here I start, color side up, if you want to color an octahedron, and you're going to fold this here. So you're going to go all, along, all down the folds to go towards the center of the paper. Or at least close to the center of the paper. As you can get. Except for one of them. For one of them, which happens to be one, which is uh, one of the actual normal creases you did in a normal grid. Which is like a, a vertical crease. You're actually going to make that a valley fold. Which connects the next, the, the last one and the future one. The future mountain fold, I should say. And we'll hold this together for the whole model, pretty much. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna is you're gonna find these two. Basically, between on, the, on each mountain fold, there should be a triangle on the bottom of each side. Don't care. Don't care. Don't worry about the white part yet. And you're going to go along the tops of those triangles uh, as a mountain fold. And repeat on the others. Some of them may look a bit different. As long as you have those two triangles, that's what matters. If you want, you can flatten the base. I prefer not to because it makes it a lot easier to work with in the end. But to each them, right? When you're done, you should have this. Once you're done, you should have some flaps or, or overlapping others, which is always a good, which is actually a good. Okay, anyways, sorry. So then, once you do all of them, you're going to make sure that all of the creases make, are lying almost flat. They shouldn't be lying flat, otherwise you got something wrong. It should be a weird looking model. It should look kind of sus, as you might say. Now, you're in the fold... Now you're going to fold, take it upside down, and you're going to fold this, these two, um, so basically you're going to take um, two of the edges, sorry, two of the mountain folds and stick them together on the bottom. You see two of the, two of the reverse folds you just made. Basically it's going to look like this. Basically, and basically how it's basically you're just simply um, making all the reverse folds into one. Now 
and it should make, basically you're going to take one of these, basically you're going to take this and fold it, like, basically you're going to take this, so the white edge, so basically, what you're going to do is you're going to fold this edge here, and this edge here, when you, and then redo the fold. That should keep the edge a bit more in the center, or not the center. That should keep the edge a bit more neat looking. That way, it stays invisible. And repeat on the other side. And you're also going to make this reverse fold. And you're going to carefully get the, um, get all of the, and then all you have to do is tuck one of these. Basically all you have to do is actually going to put these two together and tuck this in here. Sorry, let me, re let me show you a bit easier. So let's redo that, the whole thing. So, sorry if I didn't show it very clearly. I'm trying my best. So, um, you're gonna basically, you have, um, let me just restart, kind of. Basically, um, I did a few things wrong, so let me show you correctly. White side up. Pull here. Pull here. Let me find that corner and see if I do it correctly. Yeah. Make sure it's correct, perfect. And you'll see on the other corners as well. Then you're gonna do the mountain folds to the middle. But instead of doing all of them, like I said earlier, you're gonna take two two of them of your choice. I prefer doing it doesn't really matter, honestly. I prefer doing any of them. So it doesn't like I said, it doesn't matter at all, and bring them those two together. And then you're gonna do so you have a, a, a four four um, four face pyramid at the top. So you have four slides. Then you do the reverse folds, like usual. Oops. And you're gonna make sure it works as in like you're gonna make sure it looks like an octagon. <laughs> then you're gonna do the last reverse fold, and you're gonna tuck it inside this pocket. Sorry if I made a bit of confusion earlier. Sorry if I ruined your octagon. Sorry, octahedron, what am I saying? I keep saying octagon for some reason. But um, what matters is that you get the point, hopefully. And pinch this part really quick. You're gonna push this, oops, sorry. You're gonna find the, um, this part. You're going to basically open all the edges as now unfolds by pulling the two corners apart and popping it up. Oops. <clears throat> popping it up. <laughs> Make sure that the edges are tight together. And that may have been a bit complicated for some of you. If it is, go over and check out some of my easier videos. It's not a big deal. It doesn't matter on your skill level as long as you persist your way through it. And if this is frustrating for you, I'll tell me in the comments. I'll make a complete redo on this. I'm sorry about what happened. And I think, let me just check this. I think that's it. That's your single talk to Heatron, pretty much. Let me just fix a few things. And it also spins. Anyways, have an amazing day, and hope you see you soon. Bye.